Okay, and back home, um, I'll try and give you a bit of a clearer idea of the route that I took. I wasn't overly precise when I was out hiking. Um, so, there was two groups, one done a, uh, a hike from Omnu Re. I can't pronounce it very well, but there it is there anyway. So they hiked over from Omnu Re to Aberfeldy. Well, I done a lower level hike today, I just couldn't be bothered with the hills. So I went from, so we went from Kenmore to Aberfeldy via the old Rob Roy route, which is up on these slightly higher grounds. And we were able to look down into the valley where you could see the River Tay. And I've got videos and pictures of that that I've taken. Uh, and that's Loch Tay there. Kenmore is on the banks of Loch Tay. And that Loch Tay eventually runs into the River Tay, which is alongside from where I stay, Dundee. That's the River Tay there. And that eventually goes out into the North Sea. So the area of Scotland where I was hiking from, just to try and give you an idea. So there's maybe Market for we could. Yep. That's where I started from roughly. That's a rough idea, so I'll zoom right out and you'll get to see where it is. <coughs> and then with the Cal well, and then Dundee, that's where I'm based. And the Caledonian Hill Walking Club. It's a good hill walking club, it's been going for well, 60 years. In fact today was its 60th anniversary. And we go hill walking every third Sunday in the month. And that's uh, start off from Dundee, we get the coach up to where we go. So that's where the where the red mark is, is the rough roughly where uh, we've done the hikes from Kenmore to Aberfeld. It was about eight mile hike all in. And the river uh, where the waterfalls were was in the burks of Aberfeld, it was in that kind of area. There. And it was a modest burn is what fed the waterfalls. It's just a wee stone circle of uh, discovered here. That's Loch Tay in the background. And that's the Shehalian. Is um, it's in these mountains there, but down there is Kenmore, and I'm with the hike club on the December uh, the twelfth hike. It's just across from this farm. So it's a small stone circle. Just stumbled upon it there when we were walking down this road. So I'm logging in. That stone circle is just up that track there. But just through that cottage, it's just across from that cottage.
beautiful Scottish countryside. It's just on the part of the Rob Roy route heading into Aberfeldy. The breathtaking views. So I'm on the hike with the Caledonian Hill Walking Club, which is based in Dundee. And this is the uh, December 2021 hike. It's the one with the Christmas dinner at the end of it as well. So, uh, we started walking from Armalee to Aberfeldy, going via the old uh, Rob Roy route. So, yeah, it's about it's about 10 miles or something, something like that. I chose an easier hike today, I couldn't be bothered climbing up many hills with snow and that. You know. The mountains and that kind of thing. I don't like working in deep snow, so I just chose an easier route, low level kind of so, Looking forward to Christmas dinner. <laughs> I've worked up an appetite. I think this may have seen better days. that have been uh, falling over. Yeah, there's lots of trees that have been uh, falling over over there. Fall through the hike, I've seen lots. And uh, even around the vault where I live in Dundee, there's lots of trees and structural damage. So it seemed to have happened after the two storms we had, strong winds. A uh, couple of weeks back. Yeah. I do find that a bit baffling though as to why the trees have fallen in certain areas where it's been sheltered. I mean, it's like covered with other trees, and all the trees that are on the outside haven't really been affected that much, but there just seems to be certain trees, big ones, within a pack of trees that have uh, been so called blown over. So I find it a bit odd. I mean, if it was sheltered, why would why would it be blown over? Um, it's just like I wouldn't seem as though it would get the strongest of gusts of wind in the position that some of them are, that are positioned in. Whereas others that even look weaker are still remain stood up. So, anyway, just going up for this uh, nice open with the clubbers. Usually around 20 of us that uh, attend, sometimes more than uh, 20, 24. It was meant to be 25 today, 24 today, but um, some called off. Just uh, uh, aching my way down these big steps. So I'm going to take it easier. Right, I better not fall myself forward. But that's all we've got. That's a wee bit bizarre, look. Look at these trees growing out of the side of these rocks. That's strange.
Yeah, that was spectacular, that wasn't it? The waterfalls. Really, really spectacular. Uh, a lot of trees and that that are uh, that are being blown over, or supposedly. Um, I see, I remember storms from way back in the 80s and everything. Then the strong winds and all through the 80s and 90s, we used to get strong winds like that. I remember it very well. I used to remember leaning against the wind that would keep me sort of from falling down. Very strong winds. Um, but I never remember as much damage that's been done. I never, there was always damage, but not to the extent what there is with that last uh, storm. But personally, I didn't think it was really much, well, from my standpoint anyway, from my standpoint, it didn't seem to be any stronger than what I've, uh, than what I've experienced before. Uh, say I've experienced strong winds before, um, obviously, the 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and yeah, it was being damaged, but not to the degree as to what there was on these uh, last two storms. What was the stats for that? I'll get the camera and I'll get that, I'll follow that close up for you. But no, I've, I've seen storms that have been strong before and never caused as much damage to my knowledge. But the two storms that we had, well, the strong wind that we had a few weeks back in Dundee, that was uh, that would have been late November uh, 2021 in Dundee, there was a, I can't remember what the storm was called, it was on a Friday that would have been a photo shot <laughs> um, and the storm was strong but it wasn't uh, like anything I haven't experienced before so it just seems a lot more damage Anyway, I kind of went on about that, and there's even more evidence of trees and all that have just been falling down here, there, and everywhere. Branches have just snapped in certain various places. I'll show you that statue. Trying to figure out who it actually is meant to resemble. But I come to the sort of consensus that it could be Robert Burns. We're looking for a marker or some sort of <laughs> name. This is from here. I just put this on my, on my line. I thought I'd maybe better tell the viewers what it is. It's <laughs> a good thing. Oh, there's something here. Uh, summer blinks on the forward blaze. And... Oh, that's poetry anyway, the border town. That's one. Probably is Robert Burns, but it's poetry. Right? I'll let them do that. So judging by the uh, the poetry it's on there, I think I reckon it's uh, Robert Burns. I'll give you a close up of his face. I'm not great at that great history to be honest. But I should, I mean, I was at the Burns, um, Robert Burns Cottage uh, back in the summer there. And uh, it was quite, quite interesting. Right, I'm going to have to start making a move for it. Start to go. Yeah, we're going to have to obviously get a move on because it's going to be getting dark shortly. So, obviously, being in the middle of winter in December. Well, not far to go at all, but I'd just like to see the rest of it in the daylight. So. Yeah, well, we'll just figure out what that water was called. It was the Urler. Robert Burn, I think it was. Um, it's the, was Robert Burns? We would have saw in that um, information board. So, what, what trees collection? 
It's just on the outskirts of Aberfell, you know. So I've got to get moving because I'm sort of falling behind here. I'm too busy filming for these. So we're just coming out of the Burks of Aberfeldy, which is where I just walk from. Um, this is the car park which is down there, the edge of Aberfeldy, as so we've seen here. Picnic area. So we've got to make our way back to the bus. Obviously, get changed all of this for things that are something a bit cleaner for our uh, Christmas dinner. That's a nice place, I'll turn it around, I'll show you. So that's just coming into Aberfeldy now. And uh, that's the uh, signpost, just pointing up towards where the box of Aberfeldy. So we're back to civilization now. Yeah, so we're just sort of making the way back now to the, the bus. We've started off at a place called Armali or something, or Armali. I'm not very good at the pronunciations of a lot of these uh, old Scottish or possibly even Gaelic names, maybe. Uh, Rob Roy was uh, an old... Uh, I was told by one of them that he was a bandit or something from way back in the 17th century. Uh, you have to Google it up, that's what I'd be doing anyway, find out what, who Rob Roy is, but we what the Rob Roy route anyway, or part of it anyway, from uh, Unreli to, um, to here, Aber, Aberfell, well, Ur Urler, Urler Road, well that's just about crossing there, Urler Road, so it's Urler Water Road, that we, uh, that's where the water falls from. Some nice buildings here as well. And there's a cathedral or church or something in the background. That'll be a church, I think. It's not got the big. Um, I don't think it's big enough to be a cathedral. A church or an abbey or something. <clears throat> I don't think it's open, though. It looks as though it's in a. Um, possibly getting restored or something. Right, so that's is uh, pretty much in the centre of uh, Aberfeldy. So I'll just be going uh, back onto the bus, get, get changed, and then uh, have my Christmas dinner. Um, some nice hotel we're going to, so. That's on Manzies, Highlands of Paris, Rock Place, Scottish. Uh, just reading that sign there, I'll, I'll show you. So it's the stops at the Aberfeldy Town Hall. Yeah, it's a lot of outdoor activities about here. Let myself back over. I think I'm going to get split up from the group because I'm not sure exactly where the bus is parked, so I'll get moving. Anyway, my arm's sore here, so. Um, I'm going to put this phone away just now, okay? So uh, thanks for watching, I'll get this poster up as best I can. What I'll try and do is add on a bit of text for the spellings of the names of these places and that'll give you a better idea uh, where it was and what. Um, I'll see what I could do anyway. Right, okay, I'll catch you later, right? See you later, bye. Actually, before I go, I'll show you a wee bit of the centre of Aberfeldy. I'll just kind of, I'll show you a wee bit about the centre in a couple of minutes. So if you've not seen Aberfeldy then this is the uh, coming into the, into the High Street. Well it's coming into the sort of central area. Um, so. Sweetie shop. It's the Moness Burn, right? Okay. Uh, found out, I was just told it's called the Moness Burn. The Moness Burn is where the waterfall was. So, 
and they're just, they're just having a look at this uh, shop here. This designer shop. Something right there to set over there. Just do that, is that the sort of paintings you? Yeah. Yeah, I better know. I better know uh, film the pictures. <laughs> copyright. Copyright strike. It's nice anyway, so. Um, turn, turn, turn this camera over. <laughs> showing you here. Might be showing you the street. There's a bit of Christmas decorations up as well. And there's. Uh, I have dug in some, it's like quite a big sort of shop. Uh, clothes shop or kind of thing. That's too, well, look at that, it's like, oh, that's too expensive. <laughs> you have more of these sort of touristy sort of things. So that's where we were up at, uh, Burko Aberfeldy. This is the square, the Aberfeldy Square, I think this is called, I believe so. The square, yeah, says it there. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, so stops at the uh, fountain. Um, yeah, I think right actually. It'll be the cinema over there in the back down the, the Bucks Cinema Cafe and Bar. You can see that behind me just. So, so we've got a new cinema. Uh, yeah, very nice. So I think we're just trying to uh, maybe kill a bit of time because we're a bit early. Um, right, so, hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, I'll compile it as best I can. I wasn't really intending on doing a video, I just thought, well, I'm just going to take videos and pictures and stick it online for you so you get to see a wee bit of the Scottish countryside, share some of the views that I saw today. So I wasn't huffing and puffing too much. It was an easy walk, so I had time to do filming. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. See what else I put up online. Okay. Take care. See you later. Now. Bye.